हेलो लैंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू आवर चैनल टाइम टू क्रेम दिस इज आर फोर्थ वीडियो लेक्चर ऑन मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स टिल नाउ वी हैव लर्न अबाउट मेटल्स नॉन मेटल्स एंड सेमाई मेटल्स इन आर फर्स्ट वीडियो लेक्चर देन इन सेकेंड एंड थर्ड वी लर्न फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स एंड इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू नो अबाउट केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मेटल्स सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन अवेजेस हियर इज what is chemical properties of metals okay and what are their importance now as we all know that there are 118 elements in a periodic table now to divide all of them on the basis of physical properties is a quite tough job and we have learned that there were several contradictions and exceptions so scientists came up with chemical properties of metals and non metals now chemical properties of metals includes of reactivity to oxygen flammability ability to hold electrons doing a chemical reaction now what is meant by reactivity to oxygen reactivity to oxygen depends on how a metal reacts with oxygen do it take a lot of time it combine quickly with it or there were any by product doing the uh, reaction there were uh, many possibilities okay now what is my flammability if a metal is inflammable or non inflammable okay and now the third ability is now the third property is ability to hold elect electrons during a chemical reactions okay that how well a metal can hold on to the electrons during a chemical reaction so these are the three three main traits on which we are going to understand about chemical properties of metals we have seen in activity 3.8 that magnesium burns in air with a dazzling white flame do all metal reacts in the same manner let us check by performing the following activity activity 3.9 step 1 hold any of the sample taken below with a pair of tongs and try over a flame repeat with other metal samples now we have seven metals with us but we are going with magnesium we have we have a strong reason to go with a magnesium here we have also took magnesium in our activity 3.8 now second step would be reaction with magnesium we will burn magnesium with the help of burner and let's see that if there is any product or not okay the product if formed in case of magnesium there is a product but it is not compulsory that in other six metal there will be any product form now let the products and the metal surface cool down what will be the result result would be magnesium burns in a air with a dazzling white flame to produce magnesium oxide repeat the activity with iron copper aluminum lead and sodium and zinc now question asked in the activity r the first question would be which metal burns easily it will be magnesium so that was the reason we took magnesium because magnesium is the metal we can try at our home and also it can burn easily not heavy metal burn easily okay what flame color did you observe when the metal burnt yeah you guessed it right it will be blue flame now how does the metal surface appear after burning what it will it would be dazzling white are the products soluble in water no oxide of aluminum copper iron zinc and magnesium are not soluble these are the oxides of metal which which are not soluble having is the metals in decreasing order of their reactivity towards oxygen now here the first metal will be the highly reactive towards oxygen and and it will go decreasing okay so the first will be sodium okay then magnesium then aluminum then zinc iron lead and copper these are the seven element we have talked in the beginning of the activity okay now arrangement of metals in increasing order the order of their reactivity towards oxygen now this is the whole list of metals we are you are seeing uh, you are seeing on your screen that they we are uh, their reactivity towards oxygen now the highly reactive metal here is potassium okay potassium is the metal which you won't keep open because if you keep the potassium open it will burn so it will be very 
dangerous to keep potassium open. Now here are some points I want to share with you. And the first point is iron does not burn on heating but iron filling burn vigorously when sprinkled in the flame of the burner. As I have told you earlier that iron requires a very high melting point to get burned. Uh, so the flame won't work around iron but definitely iron filling will work here. Second point is copper does not burn but the hot metal is coated with a black colored layer of copper to oxide. Now when you burn a copper or heat a copper it won't burn but it will but but there will be a layer of black color you uh, around the copper you will see. You can try it home and it is like, uh, quite easy. Okay now silver and gold do not react with oxygen even at high temperatures. You can see on their reactivity series that silver and gold is at the bottom of the reactivity. So they are the least re reactive towards oxygen. We will talk more about reactivity in our next video lecture. Coming back to our topic, almost all metals combine with oxygen to form metal oxides. If there is a chemical reaction, so definitely there is going to be a chemical equations. So for metal there will be metal plus oxygen equal to metal oxide. Okay. For example, when copper is heated in air, it combines with oxygen to form copper 2 oxide, a black oxide. When you will take two atoms of copper plus oxygen, you will get copper 2 oxide. Also, in the case of magnesium, the reaction will be two atoms of magnesium plus oxygen will give you two molecules of MgO. This is a context from your CBSE test book. I will read it for you. Recall from chapter 2 acid base and salts how copper oxide reacts with hydrochloric acid if you don't know about this you can go and watch our video lectures on acid base and salts in there we have vastly covered all the topics related metals and non-metals reaction with acid base and salts okay now we have learned that metal oxides are basic in nature but some metals of uh, metal oxides such as aluminium oxide zinc oxide show both acidic as well as basic behavior. Such metal oxides which react with both acids as well as bases to produce salts and water are known as amphothelic oxides. Aluminium oxide reacts in a following manner with acids and bases. Now here are the reactions of aluminium oxide with acids as well as bases. Okay, so how they will react and how the product and byproduct will form. In both the reaction the byproduct will be H2O okay and the product will be the salt whenever you will take one molecule of Al2O3 plus six molecule of HCl you will get two molecules of AlCl3 and three molecules of H2O as byproduct and then when you will react Al Al2O3 with base such as NOH then you will get the byproduct of two molecules of NaLO2 plus H2O as byproduct and the product is known as sodium aluminate. Okay, most metal oxides are insoluble in water, but some of these may dissolve in water to form alkalis. Sodium oxide and potassium oxide dissolve in water to produce alkalis as follow. Okay, now what we have learned so far different metals show different reactivity towards oxygen. As we have talked earlier, that there, there is a, a whole bunch of reactivity series uh, where you will going to learn that which metals uh, react easily with oxygen and which metal takes a lot of time and there are some metals which just don't react. Okay. Also that all metals do not react with oxygen at the same rate. Some a small amount of time but some will, some can take a lot amount of time. Okay. Now there is a one thing that called catalyst which we will going to discuss earlier that what are catalyst and how they are uses are but for now let's skip it a west third point metals such as potassium and sodium reacts so vigorously that they can catch fire if kept in the open i told you earlier that potassium and sodium can react very vigorously if you are kept in open because in atmosphere there there is air and in air there is a certain amount of oxygen okay so thank you for watching our video lecture if you have any doubt relating to this topic then let us know in our comment section and if you haven't watched our series on acid base and salt 
then go watch and let us know in our comment section that you have watched the series thank you notes are uploaded on the blogger's page of time to cram so visit the blogger's page to download the notes and the link of the bloggers is given in the description box so check the description box get the link and download the notes and if you find this video helpful and informative then like it and do share it with your friends and classmates and yet you had not subscribed to our channel time to cram then subscribe it and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will get latest notification and update when new video is uploaded that's all for today's video lecture thank you